Hi there, Coach Alexa here. Um, I have a question come in recently that was asking about returning to running after you've taken a reasonable length break from the sport and kind of how to go about that. Um, so a few factors at play here. The first of which is the reason for having taken a bit of a break from running. So if it was down to illness, then that would need to be a conversation with uh, your, your doctor. Um, if it was due to injury, then having a conversation with your physio there would be really best placed to uh, advise you on return to run because they will have known exactly what your injury was, how you've been responding to rehab, what the, the, the correct return to sport protocol would be for that particular injury. It might be that, you know, it was it was due to, to life, to stress, to family changes, to, to all that sort of stuff. So it's worth taking a little bit of time to think about if it was related to kind of family or work or time pressures or even motivation, um, you know, kind of things like that. Then just thinking about how much of that has changed and how you might approach things differently. So maybe spending, you know, sort of 10 or 15 minutes with some paper and pen and just jotting down some thoughts about how you can kind of positively return back to running um, and perhaps work around or mitigate any of the challenges that cropped up that made you need to take a break from it in the first place. Um, if it's just one of those things and you've drifted away from running, perhaps you hit your goal race and was just like, you know what, I fancy a little bit of a break, I'll come back to it in a few months, um, then fantastic. The next thing to think about is how long did you take that break from running for? So if it was, you know, a month of, of, uh, of time off, then we don't really need to think, you know, too carefully about returning back to running. It's, it would perhaps take a couple of weeks of just gradually introducing running back, starting really small, maybe just starting on three runs a week, quite short runs, quite gentle runs, and over the space of a month, ramp yourself back up again gradually. If that break was a little bit longer, so we're thinking of a number of months, then things become a quite a bit more up in the air. So here are a few factors to think about. From a, a coaching point of view, we, we often talk about the concept of running age. So that is how many years have you been running for cumulatively over your life? So it might have been a couple of years here, then a small break and then a few more years or, um, you know, 10 years in total, 20 years in total. So the bigger people's running age, the more running they've done over their life, the easier it will be to come back after a break. The other thing to think about is how much running they were doing uh, previously, whether they've continued any sport at all. So if they literally done no running for a few months. Um, have they been doing a very occasional runs once every couple of weeks or have they been doing no activity at all? Or have they still been walking, maybe going to the gym occasionally, out on the bike at the weekend every now and again? So it very much depends whether you've been doing literally nothing or just a little bit of this and that or other sports. Um, that all interplays quite a lot as well. A general rule of thumb is to always think about kind of planning our training from where we are now up to where we want to be gradually. So if you've not done any running for a few months, running is quite a repetitive, high impact sport. And we do want to be careful about how we reload that impact through our bones, our joints, our tendons, our ligaments and our muscles. So we want to challenge them a little bit and then we want to give them the time to recover and rest. So starting out with fewer runs per week, perhaps than you would usually, definitely a lot less in terms of volume from what you were running previously and gradually building up. But as I mentioned, there's so many different factors at play, your running history, what stuff you've been doing, why you took the break from running, what your next goals are. It can be really, really useful to just have a quick chat with a running coach. And of course, I'm always more than happy to help with a bespoke training plan or coaching, to kind of help you rebuild back into your running. I hope that gives you some useful guidelines to think about.